before I left, I had a fight with my boyfriend because I was like obviously really nervous and I was like, at least look all right for this gig. And he said, Rachel, you look like a cross between a CBBC presenter. <laughs> and Myra Hinley. <laughs> Which I know sounds really harsh, but you look at me and you kind of think, aye, that's fair. Because <laughs> I've kind of got two sides to my personality. Like, one side's like really fun and engaging and great with kids. <laughs> no, but I, was in, uh, I was in Wales recently, and what I noticed about uh, Wales is their emblem's the dragon. So you see the, like, the dragon flag everywhere when you're in Wales. And it made me ashamed to say that I didn't know what Scotland's emblem was. So I said to my mum, what's Scotland's emblem? And she was like, oh, it's a lion. I was like, that's pretty cool. I was like, what's England's? Three lions. <laughs> They're like that. What's Scotland's? We'll triple it. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it weird, like, the differences between, like, a way an English person might say something and the way a Scottish person might say something to describe the same situation. Like, an English person might say, feast or famine. Whereas a Scottish person would say, fur coat and nae knickers. <laughs> Which is better, right? Much better. Which also sums up my entire life and existence. Because I'm an actress and I'm a comedian, so sometimes like, I live, you know, like the high life, making movies, doing the red carpet, travelling the world, and other times I genuinely can't afford toilet roll. <laughs> to give you an example of like how the flip side of that, how amazing life can be, last year I met The Rock. <laughs> how cool is that? The Rock? But it was only for a second, right? But I was introduced to him and he shook my hand and really firm handshake and, and he looked me in the eye and he said, so do you? And then his mind came and took him away. <laughs> Didn't get to finish the sentence. So do you? So do you? And that was like 14 months ago. And I kid you not, every single day since then, I'm torturing myself. <laughs> like... Last year, I was invited to the BAFTAs. How cool is that? The BAFTAs. But obviously, the BAFTAs are down in London. I live in Glasgow. And the only way I could afford to get down to the BAFTAs was on the Megabus. <laughs> and on the way down, I didn't care. I was so excited. I had my ball gown in my rucksack. And I was like, don't know about you losers, but I'm going to the BAFTAs. <laughs> Fast forward to the end of the night, and I had to reboard the Megabus. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. And the creepiest guy climbs the stairs, makes a beeline for me, sits next to me, and you turn into like a wee bird because you're trying to make yourself as small as possible. I'm like, ah, it's fine. Like pressed up against the window on the mega bus, like, it's fine. You're still a winner. <laughs> And I'm thinking I'm going to have to sleep with one eye open in case this, like, creep molests me in my sleep. Like, imagine I wake up on the mega bus and this guy's fucking me in the armpit or something. <laughs> Do you know it's called bagpiping? <laughs> <laughs> he leans in, this guy, closer than you can imagine, and he just goes, Rachel? That's my name, by the way, that's why it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is too much. Like, this is the Time's Up movement. You can say when you're uncomfortable, ladies, in a situation. So I said, I don't want to cause a scene. And I know it's like totally full bus, but I'm not comfortable sitting here anymore. So someone like willing to switch with me. So thankfully I moved a couple of rows back. And I'm freaked out because I'm like, I'm not famous. I don't have like a necklace saying Rachel. How the hell does this guy know my name? Proper freaked out. So I text my boyfriend. I tell him what's just happened. And he goes, babe, you've been a bit hard on yourself. You've just been at the BAFTAs. Maybe he's a fan. And I'm like, babe, people who take the megabus don't have fans. <laughs> but if he's watching, then please, mate, megabus man, please get in touch and let me know, because I'm going to my mind as to how you knew me. <laughs> and if you are a fan, or were a fan, then you know what? I'm secretly cheesing, because stalking is a sign of success. Everyone knows it. <laughs> I've got one more shout out while I'm here on national television to Dwayne Johnston, AKA The Rock. <laughs> what did you want to do? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been Rich
Jackson. Thank you very much.